Around two weeks ago, an 18-year-old shocked the FIFA world. It was the European qualifier of the FIFA E-Nations Cup and the teenager scored this banger of a goal. His opponent was Umut, a world-class player representing Germany. And he did this to Umut. He surely got some recognition and attention for this. His name is Ivan Nilsson Lopez, meanwhile 19 years old and is representing Luxembourg and FIFA. The foundation of this goal and plenty others that he scored is a new mechanic in FIFA 21. It's the skill move cancelling and Ivan Nilsson most definitely mastered this technique. We sat down with him to get his insights on this technique, how he uses it and what exactly he did against Umut to score that goal. Hey guys and welcome to another video here for the guide. I'm Benjamin also known as Tess and today we have some sort of a different kind of video as you can already tell from the introduction. We're going to talk about skill move cancels, a new mechanic in FIFA 21. I'm going to give you the explanation how to do that but then afterwards we're going to have an interview with Ivan Nilsson himself. So the guy who's scoring these amazing goals which you can already see in the background and he's going to share his insights on this mechanic. Thanks for Ivan Nilsson. For taking the time and make sure to drop him a follow on Twitter. The link to his Twitter is in the video description. But before we start I also want to ask about your feedback because this is a different kind of format and I would like to know what you think about it. Do you like it or would you prefer the usual regular tutorial videos? Let me know and now let's start with how to do the scheme of cancels. The foundation for all of this is the skill move cancel. As the name already gives away, you do a skill move which you then cancel. The cancelling is done by holding L2 plus R2 on PlayStation or LT plus RT on Xbox. You have to hit the right timing, giving this input while your player is in the animation of the skill move. Combining this with the left stick allows you some really surprising direction changes. Probably one of the most popular uses of this mechanic is the Lacoqueta cancel. You press L1 or LB, hold the right stick left or right to do the Lacoqueta. In between the execution you press L2 R2 or LT RT and change the direction with the left stick to exit in another direction. If you are too late with your input and don't hit the timing right, your player will most likely just execute the skill move as normal. There are plenty of skill moves that you can cancel. 3 touch roulette or Berbatov spin are probably the easiest because the animation for these skill moves is rather long. You can also do the feint forward turn or to go really crazy with both variants of the elastico or even the ball roll scoop turn. But be aware, this is getting to really expert level now. You know who could help you to reach that expert level even faster? Your personal private coach. We offer coaching for every skill level and our elite top 200 or pro player coaches will help you to accomplish your goals in FIFA. Right now we have a promotion running with discounted prices, so make sure to check out our coaching website if this sounds interesting to you. The link is in the video description. Now after we have set the foundation, we want to know what one of the masters of this technique thinks about it. We had a talk with Ivan Nilsson about the mechanic and we want to share his insights. First of all, we wanted to know why he thinks this mechanic is so useful and strong. Well, I think they are strong if you can use them well because you can be more unpredictable around the box and this can help you score a lot of goals. Because when you are playing against good, against good players and you do a skill, the player already can predict you. So if you cancel the skill, you would be like, uh, whoa, what's happening now? So it's all about being unpredictable. With the skill move canceller, you can lure your opponent into a fort security. He sees the beginning of a familiar animation and starts to defend it as usual. But all of a sudden you change it with a cancel. This can be extremely powerful. But now the question is, what does he want to accomplish when using this mechanic? My, my idea is to create space. Because uh, when the opponent is coming to you and you do a skill and then you cancel it, so the opponent will be the other side and you have a lot of space to continue going. And this is what you can see in a lot of the examples. 
Eva Nielsen creates spaces with a skin with cancelleds and with every successful use of it, he gets one step closer to scoring a goal. When he creates the space inside the box, he might be in a great position to have a clear shot on goal and score. And he surely did that against Umut when he scored the first goal. We asked Ivan Nilsson to lead us through this goal and tell us exactly what he did and why. The first of all, I always try to find my strikers. I did a double croquetta cancel with Bruno and then I found Cristiano Ronaldo and then I stopped the ball and I did a croque uh, an elastic cancel. After that, I saw that R9 was wide open. I passed him the ball, I did a first time fake shot. I stopped the ball, I did an elastic to create space and then I saw that uh, the space was already closed because Umut is a very very good defender and then I did a uh, shot cancel. I went to the other way, I stopped the ball and then I did an elastic uh, so I went wide open and I shot it in the middle. Well, I was so focused that I didn't, I just skipped and just keep focused like uh, it's only one nil and then just keep going. <laughs> Impressive is probably an understatement for what Ivan Nilsson pulled off in this time span of 30 seconds. So many fine inputs, perfectly timed to create such a chance on tiny space against a lot of defenders. But how did Ivan Nilsson get so good at skill move cancelling? Because I heard a friend of mine, he said that uh, an Xbox player from Atlantic Wave, Leandro Pichotto, he was actually cancelling. Elastico, so I thought myself, well, that could be a good idea. Then I went to the arena and I tried to cancel all the skill moves that I use. And then I went to training and I repeat them in the weekend league and repeat them and repeat them until I knew which one was good and which one was not good. I'm sorry to break it to you, but once again, all good things come from training. In this case, first I was on the training ground and then later on in real matches like Weekend League. Skill move cancelling is arguably one of the most demanding techniques in FIFA, especially regarding motor skills. You have to rinse and repeat this to then be able to perform it when it's needed. Is it worth the time? Well, it depends whether there are any limitations, like connection or opponent's playstyle. Here is what Ivan Nilsson thinks about it. Well, like uh, when the connection is not good, then I think you don't have to force it. But when the opponent is aggressing you, so I think uh, you just play with passes is the best uh, way to beat defenders, uh, opponents that like to play aggressive. So, but when the opponent is like staying back, waiting for you to do a skill move, I think this is the right opponent to cancel the, the skill moves. Very interesting. So when your opponent is rather pushing you, Ivan Nilsson sees also quite some benefit in mainly passing. But when the opponent holds back, uses more AI defending, skill move cancels can be helpful. And that you need a good connection in order to hit the timing right for all these inputs is probably no surprise. At the end we asked Ivan Nilsson the question whether skill move cancelling is the future of FIFA. Well, um, I hope so because FIFA, it's a game, it's not like real football, it's a lot of mechanics, so if you can add this kind of mechanic, I think it's good, because it's not easy to do it, and yeah, if you train it more, you can be better offensively, so it's another uh, attacking option. He has a point. Scheme of cancelling is very demanding and it can create a skill gap, meaning when you invest time and get good at it, you have an advantage over the opponent who doesn't. On the other hand, it's debatable what this has to do with real-life football and the video game FIFA should represent this, at least to some extent. What is your opinion on this? Would you like to see skill move cancelling also in FIFA 22 or should EA get rid of it? Do you have any other ideas how to balance it? Let us know in the comments below. Whether you like skill move cancelling as part of FIFA or not, I think it's without question that the stuff that Ivan Nielsen pulls off is very impressive. Thanks to Ivan Nielsen for taking the time and sharing his insights. Once again, make sure to drop him a follow on Twitter if you're also excited as we are to see in which direction his career as a FIFA pro is heading. The link is in the description below. There you can also find some other tutorials to plenty of skill moves that we already published. So if you're interested in getting started with skill moves, this is the right place. Oh, and if you're also excited to see in which direction we are heading in terms of FIFA content, you can subscribe to us as well. Not only on YouTube, but also on Instagram, Twitter and every other social channel we are surely going to launch soon. Anyways, we appreciate any form of support. 
I already made you aware of our coaching offers and that you can book your private coach to improve in the most efficient way with a special discount right now and that you can find all the information on our coaching website. So I'm not going to repeat that sellout one more time. All right? Okay, I should better wrap this up. Thanks for your attention. Keep a clean sheet. I'm out.